Hi, everyone. Today, I'm so excited to um, have my friend with us, um, Julian Dempsey, who is like a total badass woman. And I met her a couple of years ago and she came with her pickup truck to see me and beautiful, blonde, beautiful hair. But she's like also like an amazing mother, businesswoman, has like a jewelry line, a makeup line, a hair stuff line. It's one of the most famous makeup artists. I don't know how you do all this, Julian. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I was like a pickup truck. Was you came with a pickup truck. I did? You did. Oh, wow. I, okay. And I, and I brought you down cool. into the garage and I couldn't believe it. You you drove out with this huge car and I thought, mm, cool. Well, fantastic. You know, my memory, when I first met you, um, Pepper stole the show. She was just a little <laughs> tiny tot playing with the little puppy and I couldn't take my eyes off her. And I think I, re I remember bonding with you at that moment too, because I could see you were telling me all about, this is before I, Charlie wasn't there and you were telling me all about Charlie and, um, and I, yeah, Pepper, I could tell right away that she was just <laughs> going to be just like a little, you know, she is exactly that. She's in that room. Maybe she comes over at one point. You cannot tell her anything. She does what she does. <laughs> but, but you can see that your your bond with your daughters was at the time and still remains to be very connected, very strong. And I, I really love that. And I love that about you because I feel that way with my children too. Yeah, and with your animals. You have a whole farm in Malibu. Yeah. And you're just like Wonder Woman and... <laughs> yeah we connected definitely yeah so nice thank you yeah uh, so here we are here we are with our you know experience throughout our career so i think we have a lot of things we can talk about and i mean you look like a rock star now i want to know your skincare routine and your makeup routine and everything you're doing besides taking care of animals how many beach walks do you do a day i want to know everything <laughs> Wow. Okay. It may not be that exciting, but, um, but thank you. Um, and I, I wanted actually, you're wearing a white t-shirt. So I just have to say, I know that you have said that the white t-shirt for your line is the hyaluronic serum, correct? Correct. But I say that your white t-shirt is your face cream. That's my Barbra Sturm white t-shirt because yeah. that, that is, um, that's, I, I believe that that is a, a product that has, I've never, I don't think I've ever been without it since I've met you. It's really, truly the best cream. I just put some on. Why do you think it's the best? Why, what makes it different to others? Because yeah, I think the same too, but obviously I'm also biased and that's what I'm using, but why is it di so different? What do you think is it the consistency? I'll tell you exactly why yeah. I think it's the best because, um, as a makeup artist, I've been working in this industry for a very long time. And it's the one kind of security blanket product out of everything that I know when I show up to a job, I'm never going to see a reaction off anyone's skin. I will never see anything peel up or crepe under the makeup, no matter what makeup I'm using, whether it's cream, liquid, light tint, spot basing, no matter what. Um, also sometimes, um, creams that you use on the face, any kind of skin prep that you use prior, a lot of the times, uh, you know, a lot of the time actresses will show up and they've already done their whole entire skin prep. So you have no idea what you're working with. And, uh, and sometimes that skincare will just bleed right on through whatever you've placed on as, a, as the makeup artist. So I feel that with with the Dr. Barbara Sturm face cream, it's my white t-shirt security blanket because I feel like it does exactly what it's supposed to do. You can use it in a gentle way. You can use it, um, you can use it on top of anything that a, uh, an actress or client shows up on, shows up with on their face. And yeah, I don't know. Did I say enough about no, that? No, but you know what? It's, it's, so, it's so interesting because when I was, um, 
before I had my line and I was looking for a good face cream, I couldn't find anything on the market. And the reason is that no cream becomes one with the skin and all sits on top and whether you sweat underneath or they don't give you the hydration, they don't do anything to your skin. I was like, how is this possible that this market is full of products and there's not one face cream which would serve my skin? So right. I said, okay, I would do it myself. And these formulations, they're actually... They take two, three years. It's not like, oh, you know, here it is. It's really, it's like lots of back and forth. And then it needs to really go into your skin, be one. And then it doesn't peel off. It doesn't, you know, show under the makeup. And this is with all my products, everything I do. And, you know, as I just said, you know, I put the glow drops on right before um, skin school. But it's also whenever you put any of the stern products on, they just become one with your skin and they feel good. And they feel refreshing I mean, they just like give you everything you need. And that's why your skin looks dewy, healthy, hydrated, and you don't have any weird feeling underneath. Because I always think if you have like these rich creams, which sit on top, it's basically yeah. like a foundation, you know, and yeah. I don't have a foundation to begin with, you know, I know you don't. That's why yeah. I'm excited to show you what I just recently launched as well. But, yeah. I, but at the same time, um, the face cream is, is just, you know, the one word I can say it's reliable. How about that? Mm -hmm. It's incredibly yeah. reliable and it never lets me down. And I can honestly say that because it's always in, it's always in my makeup kit and it's always on my beauty shelf. So thank you for making it. I know what goes into making a product. I know the back and forth. I've been working on <laughs> one product for the past four plus years and yeah. I just, you know, we have to get behind whatever it is we create and we have to teach people and educate people as to not only why you should be using it, the clean ingredients that we go into, because, you know, the no-no list for ingredients yeah. Is, yeah. is quite uh, extreme these days and kind of the minimalist packaging and clean formulations, cruelty-free and and design with a purpose that's that's what i feel that we have in common as well absolutely yes absolutely i agree and you know yeah minimal and effective so if someone like me for example i really do not use makeup or anything but i like always like your lip tint because it's my color for blue eyes and you can just go with your finger and just yeah. you know apply it so it's, it's easy it looks going lazy girl makeup yeah or lazy boy Lazy yeah. girl, lazy boy, lazy, whatever. Yeah. So I, I think that's really like easy to use. And that is important to me too. If you have so many choices and so many things, so many steps, it becomes, you know, confusing. And I think, you know, because we have so many products ourselves in our line with Sturm and I created products for everybody, for every agenda, for every skin concern, for every skin color, for every skin type, whatever it is, I wanted a solution done by Sturm. That doesn't mean that we have to use the entire line. You know, you pick your favorites and if it's just a three-step routine with the cleanser, your hyaluronic serum, your face cream can be done right here and you have the perfect Sturm glow. You don't even need anything else. But then you add on, okay, I have like maybe the enzyme cleanser twice a week and maybe I want the glow drops and the sun drops. So you just you know, complete your routine, but you don't have to have 10 products to complete a storm routine. Um, and it's, it's, it's tough to pick the right ones, but the fundamental is really always the hyaluronic serum and the, and the face cream. And then you can play it with your makeup or, you know, get, get ready for the day with a little mascara or, or your lip tint, which I love. I love the peach one, actually. Thank and you. That's, that's my color. I think um, I think getting out the door is is key here and looking your best. And I don't really think I I personally don't want to spend too much time in the mirror. I want I want to just have maximum efficiency. Get in, get out. And um, everyone has a, a different. You know, they have, you can choose from the menu, really. But when you're choosing from the Sturm menu, it's it's best to kind of, like I did your face mask, yeah. which is so satisfying for me personally. I, I remember watching you oh. actually perform <laughs> that in a video we did. And once once it, it goes on kind of white and then you just peel it off and slough it off and you have, you know, 
what I feel like <laughs> new skin. Thank you. Yeah, that's My great. For, that's great for blue eyes. When do we tell everyone that we are going to bring in a model here to show my little skin? Prep? Yeah, that is great. And we never have done this before. I think that it's a really cool idea to show like the steps of a skincare routine and a makeup routine. And, um, you know, because sometimes when you see things, it's easier to to just remember and understand. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, because for me, I mean, I could probably do it on my face, but... I love working on a canvas. So yeah. here is a canvas right Hi. here. <laughs> this is Lilia, Barbara, Lilia, my colleague, and she's also my model today. <laughs> so um, we can just pretend that she is a client at the mm -hmm. moment. And this is this is sort yes. of like my little my little ritual that I would do. And and I have no idea. Lilia showed up and she she I don't know what she has on her face. So my first step is I'm just going to do a little toner. I'm going to do a little toner. Shake it up. Make sure you know which up. skin type you are. Do you have, tend to have oily skin or dry skin or combination? I would say combination, but I, I trend towards oily. And mm -hmm. I, I was just in the sun quite a bit the last week. So I think when I get extra sun, I get a little more oily. Yeah, because yeah, when when they're the summer months, our entire skin to tend to become more oily. So in the summer months, it's good to switch to very light face cream, you know, because um, you know of the, you sweat and your skin tends to become more oily. But a good way to find out if you have oily or dry skin is that you just wash your face, leave it for half an hour, and then you take a um, mattifying paper and check the areas where you're oily or where you're dry. This is a very good way to find out what skin type you are. And basically for oily skin or dry skin, you know, the skin preparation and the serums are all the same. Where you make a difference is what kind of face cream you use. And if you, are ten if you tend to break out, you do the clarifying. If you tend to have super oily, you do the face cream light. If you have super dry skin, you do the face cream rich. So you can then just make the difference, you know? Do you like how I'm just going to keep going? <laughs> I love it. How good is this um, lip balm, guys? Yes. I love the lip balm. We'll just apply a little bit. You can press your lips together. Mm -hmm. It already looks so good. What I love about the lip balm that it brings out your lip color. So, you know, often I don't really, I maybe use a little lip liner and then put the, um, you know, the, the lip balm. On. And it's like, it's like, I love it. It's beautiful. You don't even have to do any lipstick or anything. The next step is the hydrating eye mask. So I have that here too. Are in, so they're, they're a little, they're a little challenging to open, but I don't yeah, mind. How because I prefer, you have to grab the tab. I don't mind that because I prefer that they're a little harder to open than a leak because leaky is not good. And you just peel them open like, like this. And it's not that hard. It's not that hard. No. Um, and it's worth it in my opinion. So I, there are two trays here. And if you pull one of the eye masks out, you'll yeah. notice there's a lot of serum and the yeah. trick is the good stuff is in the center so you peel one side off pop it back in the tray you peel the next side off ah. and it has hyaluronic acid also it's in a prebiotic milky yeah. serum and they feel so they feel mm -hmm. almost skin like under your eyes you can adjust this i haven't tried those ones yet with these eye masks you want to always remember to take you get to the get to the center and remove yeah. the little liners. And also the smaller corner goes into the smaller corner of your eye and try and get it right into so it should look let me bring this down a tiny bit. When you're they're very, very comfortable to wear. You can put your glasses on, they don't slip and slide. And more importantly, they don't leave a residue, which is fantastic. So I have these now we've done I've done a toner. I've put the Dr. Barbara Sturm lip balm on, and now I have my eye mask on. Great. So, Looks cool. My clients feeling pretty good. If, oh yeah. Are Relax. you feeling all right? Okay. Feels so good. So then 
Um, I thought you would really love this. I found this little, I found this little guy at my house. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm going to look professional. What would you say? I, I, I love the face cream and this is what I always use. And then, then there is the face cream light. So where are we going to go? I would go with face but cream. Just maybe, maybe with her skin, if she tends to more oily skin, maybe you even want to only do the face cream light, but I, I would put the hyaluronic serum maybe underneath. I always like the hyaluronic serum and then the face cream light and then, you know, maybe finish later with the glow drops or something, you know? Okay. But if yeah. you leave the mask on, you know, for- But um, this is, okay, we're cheating on- Yeah, we're cheating, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. We're cheating on my schedule yeah. here, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to tap and press a little- But on. for everybody at home, you know, if you put the um, eye mask on, you know, put in the rest the uh, um, Dr. Sturm face mask and you can, you know, leave it all on for half an hour if you have the time and get, you know, your dress ready and everything and then take it all off and then you go with your hyaluronic serum and then with your face cream and then, and then with your makeup. I'm going to go with my tried and true, um, my white t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, um, you know, just kind of paint around wherever and the reason barbara i i'm putting moisturizer on because if then my next step involves the gold bar which is the yeah. vibrating gold bar magical japanese vibrating gold bar and oh, it's this. really wonderful and and works well on clean skin with a moisturizer because the moisturizer will help provide you know it won't tug on your skin so let's see this here and then I'll just tap a little tiny bit up here wow I love using this professional brush <laughs> it looks very calming what you're doing I wish I would sit there oh I know I <laughs> wish it was you could be here guys if you have questions for in between write them in the chat but um also later we will um dial you in and you can help um you know we ask you you ask your question with us and then we you know, answer. Okay. Then what I do next is I don't really carry this box around in my makeup kit. I carry it. I carry my gold bar what in my, my favorite bag. things to do. Actually, you have to. <laughs> I had a hairdresser <laughs> friend of mine. You know who you are, and um, <laughs> he didn't know. Whoops, he didn't know to turn it on. I'm like, you have to turn oh. it on. Because that's, this is, you know, that's you're 6,000 rotations per minute. Yeah. And this little sculpting device here is my favorite. I traditionally always begin here. Oh, I should say this. What I do is I let someone know what it feels like on their hand before it, before it touches their face, because, you know, it's a vibrating tool. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to scare anyone, but, but it's, it's not magical. that scary though. It's practical in that you can you can just see how you can you can drive right over the eye mask and as the eye mask are work they they work for 15 minutes then you remove them because they drive it's biocellulose um, material and as you know it kind of tightens and once that happens you want to remove them you can stick them back in the tray put them in the fridge and get another use or two out of them. There, there is so, a lot of serum. Oh, uh, that is good because that's also sustainable, you know, because, yeah. you know, the thing with these sheet masks, I always like stay away because there's so much trash, yes, you know. I get so, it. I think if you I can mean, use I, it, that makes it I tell you how many times you could use the biocellulose. As long as you stick them in the fridge, you could probably add a drop of water and get, you know, four uses out of it, as long as they stay hydrated. Yeah. Because so, so one thing about the massaging yeah. and the vibrating, that's stimulation of our fiber plus of our skin cells and, you know, face massages and these um, little tools to massage your skin and lift your skin are very good to engage with our tissue to strengthen collagen and elastin and just keeping our cells vital. So this is mechanical stimulation. And you know, I always talk about dry brushing your legs and your arms, and especially in those areas as well, where we, I can't, you know, I can't stop. Um, in those areas, as, especially, you know, when you 
have cellulite or you fear to getting cellulite when you age, you know, it's so great to dry brush and engage with the tissue and for our face, you use um, such a um, beautiful device or you do like, you know, little massages with your own hands when you um, get your cream on or if you get a face massage um, when you get a facial, but it's really great to have this mechanical stimulation in, in this form to help to to boost our collagen no i just want to show you after a few minutes and i i was listening to everything you just said i wasn't zoning out at all um because <laughs> I knew the minute you said scrub yes you attack it and you know that it's working if you can see a little a little pink or redness under the skin that's blood circulation but just within a few minutes of me being pretty aggressive because I know Lilia, um, <laughs> so, so I can really push it with her. If if you, you turn towards straight on, do you see, I'm gonna turn this off for one second. Yeah, great. What I just did, you can tell, like we hold a lot of like jowly kind of feeling in here. So just by simply in one direction, with the sculpting tool moving it upward has gone it's kind of you know given how do her, i look what i haven't Ooh. seen your technique i was busy i don't know i just did that you have lotion on yeah perfect so the I, other thing barbara you can do if you wanted to and and you you have to be gentle is just go right in here yeah and lift up or you can go in here and not that you need it, but anyone that's interested to define their jawline, I kind of like to Everybody do that. Everybody needs that. Yeah, just a little sculpt. I, I can carve little jawlines right in here just by doing a little sculpt and scoop like that. It's very meditating to use this device, that's for sure. It was always my favorite. I have to tell you, I, I tried a lot and I get sent a lot, but this one was always my favorite. It comes from Japan, no? It's made in Japan. It is the authentic um, gold bar. You can buy other, I, I'm asked all the time, oh, can I buy another one? It will it do the same thing. No, I don't believe it will. Um, mine, I believe, I know what, what my gold bar can do. I am always impressed with the gold bar. It makes my client's face look refreshed. They're ready. They're, they look wide open. They're relaxed. Um, it also gives you that bonding time that you need to kind of interact and maybe make a like a skin assessment of what you're going to use for the day. What you know, it kind of gives you a moment to to know what you're going to roll out with for whatever the look is, whether it's a, an appearance, red carpet. Is it safe for pregnancy? Someone is asking. Do you recommend to use the tool during pregnancy? I mean, I always say whenever you see warning, ask your doctor, you ask your doctor. I mean, I don't want to make that claim. Yeah, should not, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem at all. I mean, I, I I'm a doctor. I would say there's no problem to use it, you know? Right. But ask your doctor. Yeah. <laughs> but not, also, in, in my in my opinion, <laughs> you can use it what, safely when you're pregnant. Um, I, I have a lot of people that use this on their animals, like their animals fight for, you know, because it, it relaxes. Yeah. You can use it, um, some people like to use it when they get headaches, the back of their neck and here. And you can use it daily. It's no contraindication for anything. It's just doing good. It's not harming any in any way. You can also do it this, like yeah. up and down here and then push out okay. this way. So you could also do like a, um, like a gentle lymph drainage if you are very, very gentle. I have new face, does it do this? Well, new face is microcurrent. This little tool um, Julian is using is like just vibration. So it's mechanical stimulation. Microcurrent is different because it stimulates your muscles even on a deeper level. So um, it's a different technique. It's a different way of stimulation. Um, but it also does have a lifting effect. So you can use and, that too. You can also, also use both. You can also address tech lines, which are the two lines that run here from, from staring at your device. Um, you oh can, yeah, those you know, are terrible. Do little, yeah. And the, uh, one of the, the, another question I always get, which I will just answer, if you, you won't need to change it for a very long time. It, it always remains sterile. You just need to wipe it. 
and to yeah. change the battery, which if you're using it every single day for months and months and months, um, it's just a double A battery here. And you just, all you do is just turn it on and keep twisting until you can release the battery. Um, you're going to cool. be even today because we need to keep going. <laughs> but here, here is uh, my recommendation for, um, it, it's not quite been the 15 minutes yet, but if I remove the eye mask, um, there isn't any residue, which I, I really love as a makeup artist. I don't have to go in with anything. However, today I'm going to go in with the Dr. Barbara Sturm eye cream. But one of the reasons I like to use um, the eye cream, not only because it, again, is I can always rely and I always know that whatever I'm using out of your whole entire line is will work and operate properly under makeup, but I launched um, the spot sticks, which is, they're the anti-foundation. They're just for little spots, blemishes, pimples, rosacea, any little any little areas of discoloration on your face. But if you use the spot stick under your eye, it's a dry formula. Um, the way I designed it. Number two or three, what do I need? I, I say you look like, you look like you might even be, you took in some color, didn't you? Oh yeah, that number two is You're two. definitely not a one, that's too pale yeah. for you. you. You look like you could be possibly a four to me. What do you think? I think she looks like a four. Three or four. Three or four, Barbara. Zero, okay. three, zero, four. Zero, four looks a little orange because it's kind of a neutralizer. Yeah, good. And um, packaging. Orange, as you know, cancels blue. Yeah, I always love your packaging. So this this is the packaging, tiny, on the go, pocket friendly. Is this also for under the eyes? So you have to put moisturizer on. Yeah, okay, got it. So Barbara, let me teach you something right now. Yeah. Warm it up on the top yeah. because I made it very dry on purpose. I want this to adhere to your skin. So yeah. if your skin is slippery, too slippery, it, it won't adhere. Um, it's great for sunspots, especially if you're just targeting the area. You can go straight on with the stick, or you could be a makeup artist like me and put it in, put it all in like a little tiny. So it's better to warm it up and take it off with the finger. It's better to warm it up. And then because she has eye cream on, I'm only going in the areas I need to. I never believe that you should ever put anything on your exterior to cover because you don't have dark circles over here and that will only accentuate your age. So we don't do that. Not that you're old. Right? No, 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 no. We don't accentuate our age. No, Tell me what your diet is like. I need to know what you're eating because that is, is I'm are you very anti, into- I'm on an anti-inflammatory diet. Very good. I have an anti-inflammatory um, iced tea. Very right good. Here. My I I mean I don't eat I don't eat anything with four legs. How about that? Yeah, that is a very um, good start. And I try and incorporate. I, I'm pretty. I'm kind of boring. I, I eat oatmeal most mornings Same. or a protein bar. Yeah, I'm kind of an out the door, not a huge breakfast eater. I mean, I I think that I think your body will tell you what you need. Yeah, like I if I'm low on iron, I I'm attracted to foods that are high in iron. If I'm low on protein, I feel my body will, it's just like instinct. You my listen to your, your body, what, what it needs, what it wants. How, how many hours do you sleep at night? I'm not, I don't have like a set rule. If I could sleep 10 hours, that would be incredible. But who has that kind of time? But I, I try to go to bed early, I do. I try and hit, hit the hay pretty, pretty fast. Um, but I'm up early. I'm up very yeah. early. I have a couple of boys that are still attending high school and my daughter, she's off to college, if you can believe that. Um, but, yeah. you know, it's just, it's like, like. By the way, we have to get them all on the microbiotic line, which I just launched for, you know, the next generation, um, teenagers, but also college kids who have like, you know, disbalanced skin, disbalanced microbiome breakouts. And we created this line. Like, 
four steps. Yeah, it's very new, four steps for teenagers. It's like basically a healthy proactive, if you want to say, you know, like yeah. proactive is so harsh and we do like a line just like super healthy, um, evening out the microbiome, strengthening skin barrier, clean it, clearing up spots. You know, we created mm. something called stinky pimple treatment, which is amazing. Okay. I can't wait to try that. Yeah, no, it's so good. It, it will it will work super well if you have like, and I'm gonna use my fingers. She's got a little bit of redness here. So these the spot stick is just kind of like that little, just target little tiny areas. Um, I think you and I both can agree. If you use concealer all over your face, you're gonna make your pores look gigantic. Yeah. You're gonna accentuate any fine lines. So just go in like it's a tiny piece of like, you're just, you're basically what I call spot basing. You're going in on the areas you need to cover. And then like, there's a little tiny something right here and then just blend. I like to say tap and blend. Um, and, I, and I also, I love a quick face. So you, like, I'm gonna use sunny, my sunny um, smile. Sunny. Oh wait. That's that's the cheek cheek yeah, cheek tent. Where's the sunny one? I want the sunny one. The sunny will make you look sunny. I have the. So all you do, Barbara. I have the scarlet. I have the scarlet. Not no, that's for your. That would be. Oh, I have the sunny color. one. Wait, I have the sunny one. I will do this too. This is the sunny one. Look, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So is this what I do here? No, what are you doing, Barbara? Oh, I, don't I don't know. I was trying to contour. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, smile. You see where you see this, right there on you. Okay, so you can use your index finger and pop a little on. So pop a little on and tap it around in a circle like that, and you just blend it out. If you use four fingers on this, that's what it will. That's what it will look like on your face. Our features are very delicate and they're very small. Okay, I like what you're doing there. That looks much better. Go in a little, a little. I like how you're bringing it up and then bring it a little more in here. Barbara, right here. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm very bossy. Yeah, okay. Good. I look very. I you're sunny. You have to blend it out. You you have okay. more on your left side. I but can it, see that. It gives you that sunny is what I wear almost every single day. It goes on strong. Give it a second, and it'll it'll just fall right into to where it's supposed to be. Like it goes on initially, pretty bright because also if you are touching your face, you're drawing blood to the surface. So let it sit for a minute. Give it a second, and and you'll be fine. That's already looking very glowy and mm -hmm. dewy. Just okay. blend. Can you see her face right now? Oh, what crazy. is happening? What? You're so funny. Um, I know. <laughs> you are hilarious. Let's use peach. I love it so much. Okay, peach. You said it, you said you. Yeah, have I don't have to peach. It. I don't okay. have to peach. I will here. use peach with my um, mini nylon fan brush that's um, washable and. It's so easy. You can use your fingers. I'm just using a brush to show you what this brush can do. Just move it in a very kind of circular. You can turn it upside down. And the cool thing about the lid tints, um, they're just meant to give you a little tint of color and glow. And you can mix them in with other shades if you like. They can become like you, if you've ever made your eye with eyeshadow look too chalky, just take a tiny bit of this and mix it in. And it's a wonderful medium. I love it because it's not in your face. It's just right. perfect, you know, if you want to, this, this color is called Ruby and it looks so amazing. I'm just going to take Ruby and go right over her eyes because it looks incredible. And it's great again for, for light color eyes to just really pop. I don't have the ruby. You don't have the ruby? We'll get you the nope. ruby. I, I felt like in a strange way, you know what I kind of feel like your color is? Taupe. I mm. feel like you're going to become like a taupe fan. 
I'm using your cheek tint now in my eyes. You the have, sun. I think you have shell. The sunny one. Sunny and peach. And I, I, I want you to, you don't have to do it now, but at some point try taupe. Taupe, Maybe tomorrow, okay. Give it to your makeup artist tomorrow when she does your makeup. Yeah, I'm gonna take all of this with me for tomorrow. Okay, great. And then shell can also easily work as like a little highlighter for the, you know, upper part of your face. This is where the glow drops come in handy. Okay. <laughs> glow drops. Where are they? Tell me how I put this on our model, Lilia. So the glow drops you can use for, you know, around on top of your, you know, cheeks. I like okay. glow drops everywhere. But, you know, as a makeup artist, you probably like this area to be accentuated, you know, you can, you can mix it with your foundation. I use it without foundation all the time. I mean, I just used it before, you know, going on a Zoom call or I always have glow drops with me. They're super hydrating, but they give you this, um, you know, instant glow. And on top of makeup, I actually really like it. It just reactivates your makeup, refreshes it and and, gives and what about for the top of our hands? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Because Have you tried our oh, hand cream, by the way? Have you tried um, that? I'm obsessed with your anti-aging body cream. I, mm -hmm. I, I think I must go through vats of your anti-aging body cream. <laughs> I, I love it so much. It's, it doesn't get on my clothes. It doesn't like leave that weird funky layer. It's again, another Sturm product that I think is reliable and I, I'm obsessed with. But I, I, the only reason I bring up the glow drops for the back of your hands, because I feel like with all of the sanitizing we have to do, especially, oh. especially if we're touching other people, we're, we're in their face. So we have to sanitize probably more than the average person. And my, my hands, my hands were probably not looking so great to begin with. And now, now we have this. Something about sanitizing. And I, I saw so many children you know, using that in school everywhere. And Pepper got really bad eczema on her hands. And I, I told her and I told the school, Pepper's not going to use the sanitizer. Pepper washes her hand all the time, you know, mm -hmm. and you, you, you kind of disrupt your skin barrier. And on the hands, it's so dangerous because then bacteria come in and you develop all these problems with your skin. So sometimes it's much better you know, to just wash your hands on a regular basis, you know, when you come home, like, you know, you just have this routine rather than, and also, you know, putting this gel on top of dirty hands. I just don't like it. And I don't think you're doing something great um, for your skin here. So I much rather stay away and have like a proper hand wash. Okay. That solves my problem for just a little while until I'm on a job and then you want the yeah. person that you you know there's not a sink available um and you know it's very important to keep things sanitary and be very mindful i mean i'm always on, use it on your um palms and not everywhere you know use it on your palms. the top yeah just yeah. on here mm -hmm. okay okay but then in the meantime i'm just going to use glow drops on the tops of my hands just to make them look shimmery and goldy pretty that's very, very generous for your hands. <laughs> I love you. it. What else do we need so, to talk about? Or should we dial some, somebody in? Is anybody ready to have a conversation? We do actually have Sophia on the line. So Sophia, do you want to just turn on your camera and ask your question? Hi, Barbara. My name is Sophia. Sophia, nice to meet you. I'm actually German and I'm now finishing my degree in Italy in Florence. And I basically got inspired by Aquasura, which I find so funny because now you have the collection. <laughs> you know, it's all, you know, people are like, why, why is she doing shoes now? But it's like all made with orthopedic impact, you know, because how bad is it to walk on heels all day long? And, you know, if you have like this double padding and this memory foam, it's so much better on your feet. So, yeah, we did this fun collaboration. Actually, we... We, we were thinking about it when we were in lockdown in, in, in Los Angeles and we we're just like, well, why not? But it's, it's a fun, fun collaboration for sure. But nice to be in Florence. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. <laughs> ah, love it. So 
my issue with my skin is basically, I mean, I'm very happy because I don't have any breakouts. But since I can remember, I have really, really oily skin. Mm -hmm. And every time I went to the dermatologist, he was like, yeah, just accept it. That's your skin. And my question basically was if I just accept it um, or if there's something I can do, because sometimes I feel a little embarrassed because it starts to shine and I hate applying powder so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. So, you know what? I think what's really good to have a skincare routine, which helps to control the sebum production. And um, I don't know which products you're using. I think one really good product is, um, you know, our cleanser. Um, to use on a regular basis our cleanser which is hydrating but really helps to control sebum production the same like um, our enzyme cleanser for twice a week mm -hmm. uh, and you use the cleanser morning and night not just in the okay. evening but also use it in the morning yeah and you use um, the balancing toner okay every every morning every night yeah and then um i tell everybody to use the hyaluronic serum and I would recommend for you to use the hyaluronic serum for darker skin tones. Okay. Yeah. And have you tried our Better B? No, but I ordered like a sample of it. I think that it will arrive soon. And this one is also really good to control sebum production, production mm -hmm. and uh, pore sizes. Yeah. So you think it's actually possible to do something for the oily yeah. skin, like that it looks yeah. nicer? You, I think if you choose a skincare routine, which gives you hydration, but not the oiliness, you could yeah. also, but you also could try, if you go away from the main line, try the microbiotic line, which also helps to even out and balancing, you know, sebum production, microbiome, etc. cetera. You can also try that. How old are okay. you now? 25. 25. So you could do both ways, whether okay. you go main line, you know, with okay. what I that and we are also happy to write that down or you try the microbiotic which helps you exactly with these um things as well it's all about the you know the balancing of your skin and not overpowering it and trying mm -hmm. to get sebum lower because sebum is the bad food um it's the good food for the bad um bacteria you know and this is what makes us you know get like you know pimples or like little um blackheads or something so we just want to reduce it. So for, from as a product standpoint, you could do both. We also have the clarifying line, which helps, but you know, it's like, you don't want to have too many steps. So if you want to keep it simple with like a three, four step routine, do the microbiotic. And and um, as for the main line, the hyaluronic serum for darker skin mm -hmm. tone, the better be super amazing. Maybe also the clarifying cream as, um, you know, a face cream. But that is a really good um, routine and it should definitely help you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> and keep in touch, you know. Um, yeah. We can uh, revisit. My team can help you with um, finding the product, help you with like, you know, um, seeing your progress. And yes, yeah. this would be really helpful. I'm trying now to remember all the different products you told me. But... Yeah, yeah. No, that my team will um, send it to you right now. Thank you. But, um, <laughs> you know, especially when you're going to the summer months, less is more. Don't use oily products, no face yeah. oil, no rich creams, go very, very light. Because also it's so hot in Florence, like I really yeah. have to be careful with the sun. Exactly. And if you use our sun drops, mix them with your serum, mm -hmm. with the okay. serum, so you make them very like smooth to go on and they're not so rich, you know? Okay, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so. I forgot your mist. Barbara. Oh my God, the mist. The mist. I forgot oh, that step, but we just did it. We just did it over the, the glow drops. How good is that mist? I love it. it you know, so, it feels so good. Mm -hmm. How often should you use the, the mist on your face? Oh, I use it all the time. It's basically the hyaluronic serum as a mist. And you have to be so careful with the mists you use because you know, the ingredients in a face mist, you breathe into your lungs and there is an exchange between the bloodstream and the lungs, which is very, 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 you know, it just goes right, goes right into our bloodstream. So especially with the face mist, we have to pay so much attention on ingredients. Um, so don't just use any face mist, really mm -hmm. look what's in there because it will go in exchange with our system, you know. You know, when we are 
I did, I did lunch and dinner. I always have it with me. I spritz like all the time. I love it so much. It's a perfect hydrator also to reactivate makeup. A re little refreshing mm -hmm. midday makeup. Mm -hmm. You look glowing, Barbara. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of everything. I'm not perfectionist, but I can do it. I feel like I can do it. You, can do it. you already did it. It looks incredible. <laughs> so what is anti-inflammatory moment? Is this being with your animals or your children or what is what you use to uh, wind down from your stressful day i think being with my kids and also knowing that there's a certain structure in the evening to how we you know how we just kind of have a little routine and a little I, I like the connection that i feel with my family so that to me especially during this period of time has been probably like the best you know yeah. just that more of that connection even if it's taking a walk i ride i ride bikes a lot sure i got the stationary bike chris is my like he's been my soul cycle guy for a while now uh, they dropped my favorite 20 minute routine but that's that's cool <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's let's talk about one more thing which i find very important um for our audience to know what's the best way to clean your brushes makeup brushes there is a technique if you if you have a brush um say for for example this brush here um there's always at the top something that pinches down and there's glue in there attached to the synthetic hair here so you never want you never want water to enter this way into your brush ever mm -hmm. so your brush always has to be facing down and if you're using something such as like a cream or a liquid or something that's um, pretty heavy duty on here, I always like to take just a tiny bit of soap detergent and then just kind of wiggle that around. If it's really, really set in there and there isn't a detergent that will get to um, with like lukewarm, cool water, then you can use a brush cleanser. But a lot of the brush cleansers stay on your brushes and they have too much oil and they yeah. ruin the brushes and they fray your brushes and they wreak havoc. So I'm I'm a big fan of and I always like to I always like to put my brushes in the sunshine uh, or next to a window where they can dry pretty immediate so that they don't grow any kind of bacteria if they are um you know, if like you, you just let it sit there and it's damp for a long time, it's like anything else. It has time to grow crazy things. So, and and I also like to push the hair into the direction that it's supposed to be for the perfect brush. Do I sound like an OCD weirdo? No, that is so I'm good. I'm really that into so this. Good. And how often, how often do you recommend to, 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 to oh, clean the brush? brush i mean when your brush won't move and perform you need to wash it mm -hmm. if you can go like this on a powder brush and you see a lot of powder dispersing it's time to maybe you know always move in the direction that of the way the brush hair grows and try mm -hmm. to be just try to be really nice to your brush it, it will be nice back to you um but make sure it's clean because dirty brushes are, are disgusting and, and they, they rub the bacteria in your out. skin and you yes, and then you're surprised you're getting breakouts i think it's very important to have like really really clean tools for your for your skincare and makeup mm -hmm. i actually get i get paranoid when other people clean my brushes i do mm -hmm. i have to inspect them i like it to just start out of the gates very very clean and not frayed because if you're touching someone's face with a brush I, I there's just a certain feeling that it needs to have you know like if you're touching with your with your hands and and brushes are again another tool that can that contribute to whatever i'm bringing to my show with my client um i need to stand behind and so including the skincare like the face cream i know i'm not I'm, i won't get a reaction with that i know how it performs under the makeup and even if i need to go in with like maybe a face paper if if, if a, a unwanted shine is there and then i want to also say something you know i get makeup a lot um get it done and you know i like i may i don't use foundation but i you know doing my eye makeup and then 
you know, then some of the eye makeup is sitting underneath and then they rub and rub and I said, you know, no, stop, 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 stop. What I do, I take a Q-tip, take a little bit of my face cream or eye cream and I, you know, gently take it off. I also don't like if they put a layer of another concealer on top and say, no, 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 you know? no. But be very, very gentle around your eye area. Don't have something dry, rub, rub it there. That, that's, why, that's why with the spot stick, I yeah. really don't want people to think this is for under your eyes. If you, if you have oily, oily skin, then sure. If you use an eye, if you use like a cream under your eye, then, then definitely it can work, but it's more meant for like, I have a huge sunspot over here and I use number zero five to just tap or on that pimple. Yeah. or yeah. pimple or just like any little redness around your nose, around your chin, stay away from large size pores. It's dry and it's so meant. What do you do? You know, speaking Pimples. What do you do if you have a big, big white head somewhere and you want to put makeup on and yeah, you don't know if you should pop it or, you know, like if someone has a white head that isn't going to ruin anything, I leave it alone and carry on with my job because yeah. the second I interact with that, then I'm going to create, I'm going to create a bump, an inflammation. Yeah. And even if I tweeze brows, I always ask someone like, do you, or do you have very sensitive skin? I can usually tell. But even if you tweeze brows, you notice that you get red, yeah. a red bump there that stays for four hours. Yeah. So I think um, just kind of understanding your skin and the way your skin reacts, the best time to probably squeeze that pimple is when you have time to let it breathe, heal, add your clarifying um, little medication on top what of it. Yeah. Um, the little dot. Yeah, that's what great. Treatment, yeah. That comes in so many different shades, and that's also like a game changer for so many people. You can use it in a in a like you can go outside with that on. You just have to yeah. kind of tap it on and blend. Yeah. And the one that has no color, you if you squeeze your white head and then you put that on, and you don't have perfect. anything else coming out, you can actually cover it up if there's more redness. Yeah. Oh, if there's yeah. something else with the spot stick. The perfect. other thing, Barbara, for you, I'm just gonna say, and I know you probably. Um, tomorrow when you do your makeup is I know you don't wear a lot of makeup, but would you ever consider trying my rich brown, please? Just for me. Yes. Okay. So rich brown has a lot of warmth to it. Mm -hmm. And just only just think about it. Like it's a little tiny miniature crayon and yeah. that, and that you can use, like you like, you said you like to use a Q-tip. So use a, yes. a a cotton bud or something just to give yourself this little subtle definition of shade of color and it will also really pop your blue eyes i love that is this the rich brown yeah this is the rich brown oh yeah you can go in and use it as heavy or as light as you like you can oh and it's nice and it's nice it's and creamy, soft, creamy. Yeah. I love it. and yeah. and also another trick if you don't have time it, you yeah. can take you can rub your finger on the tip of yeah. it like that yeah. and then just tap it on your eyes like this and then you it works really well with the lid tint because as you can see i've just sort of given her a little more of a base with the coal so the coal has wax in it, a little teeny bit of, of, um, of a base. And now I've just, I've just given her a more of a subtle glow and it's kind of served as my, because I think that with your, the way you do your makeup, you do it in little tiny bits and pieces on a daily basis. You yeah. don't, you don't have time for the whole, like, you know, no, no, no. concealer, foundation, contour, powder. I mean, like, it's like mesmerizing when you see this somewhere, a video of someone doing like, like 10, 10 different layers yeah. of red. like, whoa, but yeah, yeah, no. It's a lot of time and it's very consuming. So kind of you on a good day would be just to have your beautiful skin shining through as usual, and maybe a tiny hit of, on your cheeks, on a little tint on your, on your lids, Get yeah, a mascara, you know. Shivi, Stella was just asking a question about, I couldn't read it completely. What did she ask about the... When I use under eye pencils, they 
end up sliding down. So as in the color slides down, how can mm -hmm. I prevent this? If you have any kind of translucent setting powder and because I, I usually think people that have tend to have oily, oily skin and oily around their eyes, just take a tiny bit of of um, a setting powder, which I don't really think I have in front of me right now. We'll pretend like there's a little bit of, of loose powder. And before you put mascara and before you put your liner, just press into your setting powder. And let me do it on this side. And then just follow along here with your setting powder. And because it's setting powder is meant to be that kind of just very, very loose, you know, make sure it's just a very, small amount because you're next to your eye and you have to be very gentle and delicate in that area but that will help to kind of ad adhere and make anything that you're placing on top of it adhere a little bit longer stronger and better in my opinion or you could do the opposite you could put the eyeliner on and then you could you'd lose a little bit of the color but then you could press in you could draw your liner on and then you could just press in gently on top of it with a little bit of the setting powder. And if you're like, oh, that muted out the tone, then just very delicately go back in and hit the little areas where you might have taken the color away. But that's, I feel like the setting powder is kind of the trick for the non-transfer. And that's what, what I'm asked time and time again. If, if you crease in your eyes, you know, if you're if you're a creaser you're a creaser there are certain things you can do but sometimes it's just un, not it's unavoidable should be what other questions do we have or does anybody want to dial in we haven't got anyone dialing in at the moment um so we've only got we've gone five minutes over ladies oh and a very slow one <laughs> very interesting um skin school i really enjoyed it i learned a lot um me I'm too. excited about all your new launches and um, thank you so much for doing this today. I really, really, really appreciate it. And also I um, hope I get to see you soon in LA. When are you coming to Los Angeles? Uh, probably in September. You know, okay. we are working on the house and it takes a little bit longer than we thought it would. So, And I don't want to stay in a hotel. I just like, Pepper, come say hi. Look, hi, Pepper. Say hi. <laughs> Hi, Pepper. All this makeup, Pepper. You know what Pepper says? If I what have makeup it? on, if my if I, if mommy has makeup on, you love me way more, no? Right? Oh. <laughs> Look, want to put this on my eyes? <laughs> Pepper loves to do my makeup. No? Pepper, what's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite makeup to do on your mom? What do you love to do? Her lips, cheeks, eyes, eyes. <laughs> I Mascara. No? Ooh, you wanna here we go. This is the good stuff. Right here. Really good makeup artist because uh -huh. she watched so many times. I've been watching one time. You watched all the time when I got no. makeup? No. I thought you did. Maybe you forgot about it. That application, Pepper, is perfection. Look mm -hmm. at that. Look at that. You need to do mama's makeup all the time, Pepper, please. Thank you. <laughs> she's really, she's really great with blending. Yeah. With the no. precision. Yeah. She's already lined up. And a good eye. I believe that she's a good she, eye yeah. for, also for my hair. Now we do hair, makeup, everything. Oh, look. <laughs> that is the cutest. Let me take a picture of that. Good. What else do we have? Oh, there's like this hair. Ooh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Wait, wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happens, what happens now, now? Oh, I'm, I'm interested. Oh, here, uh -oh. We go. here we go. <laughs> what is this going to be, Pepper? Are you drawing the heart? I probably get it to two now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, and this, Pepper, you love this one, no? You love this one. Pepper loves oh, it. Pepper loves it. Pepper uses all the time putting putting her cream on, no? You love this. Yeah, loves it. <laughs> loves it. Uh, yeah. Tickles. <laughs> I think, so, I think 
Pepper should use that color scarlet on her lips. Yeah. Yeah. No, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> Why? Look, it's so pretty. Seth Pepper. Come on. What is she drawing on oh, you, wow. Pepper? Artistic. Just amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I so, she, she probably so, would get like a little lesson from you. Booked your makeup artist for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. her name is Pepper. <laughs> Yes, we got that sorted. We got that sorted. Okay, Pepper, you want to say bye? It's not I cannot wait for this. It's finished. It's coming late to the show. Pepper, you should have your own show, your own makeup show. Finished. Finished. So. I need Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Good to see you. Amazing. Pepper, say bye. Yes. Yes. Nanny McPhee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Barbara, I'll see you in September. Thank you and you so much. Yes. Okay. Give my love to your family. Yeah. I and will. Bye to everybody. I Thank you for doing this. Very, very sweet of you. I Thank you so much. Oh, my A. No. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I got an A.